Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Click to subscribe Believing Beings and press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. Today, according to me, media is the most important weapon in the world. It can convert back into white, day into white, uh, day to night, hero into villain, villain into him. Today, we find in international media there is virulent propaganda regarding Islam. We find in the international media, whether it be radio station, whether it be satellite channel, whether it be social media, whether it be the magazines, the newspapers, we find every day they are bombarding misconception about Islam. As far <clears throat> as the entertainment media is concerned, we Muslims are very high in that, whether it be Bollywood where I come from, Bombay, and some of you may be aware that one third of Bollywood is controlled by the Muslims, whether it be actors, whether it be actresses, whether it be film producers, it's haram. Same same in the Arab world, we find that the top entertainment channels, it's far away from the deen, it's not Islamic yet, it's controlled by the Muslims. As far as using the media to propagate our deen, Islam, we Muslims are very weak, we are miskeen. We are very weak as far as using the media to propagate our deen is concerned. When we use it for the haram reason, we are on top of the world. But when we want to present our deen, we want to present Islam, we are very weak, we are miskeen. The media can be classified into four different categories, the print media, it can be the video media, it is the uh, uh, audio, and the last is the internet. We know that now the print media is depleting, yet it has its own importance. Then the audio media, as far as the video media is concerned, the satellite, if you see when we Muslims propagate our deen on the satellite, we use very pure, we use very poor quality, very, uh, the, the picture quality is less, the bandwidth is less, even the production is very poor. Why? When Allah has given us the wealth, why are you using the least and very poor quality for propagating Adi? With this concept in mind, in 2005, we decided to launch an Islamic satellite channel that is Peace TV English. And in 2006, January, we launched our first uh, satellite, Islamic satellite Peace TV English. And Alhamdulillah, by Allah's grace, by Allah's help and guidance, in, in the few years after the launch, we became the largest watch, not only Islamic channel, we became Alhamdulillah largest watch religious channel in the world. It's even it's better viewership even than the Christian channel, Alhamdulillah. And if you compare what we did, uh, we, we saw as we did not compare the other Islamic channels which were very uh, poor in quality. We saw the best entertainment channel and we picked up the technology, so the content was haram and we saw to it that we presented the deen in the best quality. In 2009, in June, we became the first religious channel to go high definition on the satellite. When we started the channel, all we had a policy of using the best broadcast cameras. We used the best cameras for television and we started our channel. In 2006, we used the best cameras. But later on, in the year 2015, we changed our policy. We said we will not use the best cameras for the satellite. We were the first satellite that started using film cameras. We started using cinematography <coughs> cameras for the television. And each camera cost you more than a million real. So we were the first we were the first satellite channel in the world to own 18 film cameras ourselves, each costing a million real. And people thought, why are we doing this? Not that we had money. The reason no. was that not that we had extra money. The reason was that normally in a satellite channel, when we broadcast any program, the revenue 95% comes in the first telecast. And after that, the program becomes obsolete. But I was being a religious child, for example, Sheikh Ahmed Didal. He's alive to, at that time. Then he is no longer there. If he's no longer there, that program becomes more valuable. So, so in Islamic channel, the guidance of the Quran is the same. Maybe a little bit the context will change. Otherwise, it's the same. So once we record of a Sheikh who is very good, and tomorrow is not there, this program becomes more valuable for us. We started recording the program with 4K and 8K cinematographic cameras, and we downgraded it to HD. So that the original quality can be for 50 years. So this is thinking ahead that once we record a shirk, he'll not be, I mean, we live for how long? So once we record on the high quality, all the shakes can be telecast, a normal broadcast <coughs> cameras can be maximum for 4-5 years. After that we cannot, for example, Sheikh Dida's program, 
when we had to show on our satellite channel, we spend a million dollars only to upgrade 200 hours and we write on a channel, very poor quality. So as a businessman, I am spending only 7% more of my budget and securing my program for next 50 years. So Alhamdulillah, in the few years of launch, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed us and we became the largest watch channel and a Peach TV English alone had a viewership of 100 billion. In 2009, we launched the second channel, Peach TV Urdu, which had a viewership of 80 million. Then we launched it in, in the year 2011, Peach TV Bangla, which is the fifth largest language in the world, which had a viewership of 50 million. Then we launched Peach TV Chinese in language in 2015, which has a viewership of 20 million. Then all put together, mashallah, we had 200 to 50 million viewers. Around us. Then the second media, which is getting popular, is social media. Time will not permit me. But in social media, unfortunately, Muslims don't know how to use the social media. There's a different technology. What is the benefit of Facebook or YouTube or Snapchat or uh, Snapchat or Instagram or Twitter? Unfortunately, Muslims aren't specialized in using the social media for the deen. So that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my Facebook page. Uh, the initially government blocked it, it became zero. We restarted in 2013 from zero and now it is more than 23 million. Uh, Followers, mashallah. Same thing with the YouTube, with Instagram, alhamdulillah. The so Muslims should know how to use the social media to propagate our deen. I just pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we will make me instrumental in fulfilling the hadith of the Prophet that inshallah Islam will enter every day. Wa alayhi wa sallam. 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 Wa my second project of life was to have an Islamic satellite channel. And we saw the other channels and we started Peach TV, mashallah, in January 2006. We launched Peach TV English in January 2006. Time is short. I'll just rush through. Urdu channel we launched in 2009. 2011 we launched the Peach TV Bangla. And Peach TV Chinese Mandarin in 2015. Each one has a story. Each channel I can speak for a few hours. Time will not permit me. Alhamdulillah, we became the largest religious network in the world, having a viewership of 200 million people, mashallah. 200 million viewers. We covered the full globe. In 2016, only Peach TV English had more than 100 million viewers. Peach TV Urdu had more than 80 million viewers. Peach TV Bangla had more than 50 million viewers. And Peach TV Chinese had more than 20 million viewers. And it was the first high-definition religious channel in the world, even earlier than the Christian missionary channels. In July 2009, we launched the first HD religious channel, and now all four are HD, mashallah. I had a dream that we should have the best equipment in the world for Islam. And we did that. We had the best of cameras. People said, this person is rough. I said, this, you know, Allah had blessed us. I can own even Rolls Royce, but my Rolls Royce was my camera. Each camera costing more than a million ringgit. One camera, more than a million ringgit. We had 18 cameras, mashallah. So this was my Rolls Royce. But in 2005, I changed my policy. I said, no, I don't want to have the best equipment for for video broadcast, no. I said I want to have the best equipment for film telecast. So in 2005, we went to Japan, we went to Sony, and we said we want to buy cameras. 15, I said, crazy, 15 cameras, film cameras? I mean, where are you coming from? So Sony in Japan was shocked. Normally, film camera, film the shot with one camera. If there's a fight sequence, three camera, four camera. Why do you own 15 cameras? Maybe understand. Or, or do you have more money? I said, no, no, no. My logic is that if you shoot with the best, bro best video cameras today, it can be in the world for maximum four or five years. After four years, it'll get obsolete. That's the reason Sheikh Didar used the best cameras. But what he shot in 2000, the last lecture he gave, 1996, in the year 2000, became obsolete. So when I want to telecast Sheikh Didar on my Peach TV, only to upgrade 200 hours, I spend more than a million dollars and then I write on my channel, poor quality, sorry. Didad used the best cameras of his time. So in 2015, I changed my policy. I will not use the best ca cameras for video. I will use the best camera in the world for film and show it on video. 
I said, what is the logic? I said, the logic is, if I shoot a scholar, I can have his video telecast for next 50 years. Now, Sheikh Didat, I cannot show on PTV. I'm showing, but with poor quality. If, I, if we had used film cameras for Sheikh Didat, even today it would have been 8K. So we bought 4K cameras, 8K cameras, and it was on the Sony website. There is no production house in the world which owned the cameras which we owned. We believed in quality. And the cost was only a small percentage. Why? Because there's a cost for labor, there's a cost for telecast. The equipment cost is there, but if I divide it, I'm spending only 5% more, and I'm securing the footage for the next 50 years. Allah gave us, mashallah, success, and we kept on growing. The other thing that I had in mind and my desire was to have a conference. When I used to see Grammy Awards, Oscar Award, what technology they have got, lighting, cameras, but majority haram. So why can't we use this technology for halal means? So why can't we use, because lighting is not haram, camera is not haram, most of the things done on the camera is haram, that's different, but camera per se is not haram, lighting is not haram. So when I, to, I said, why can't we Muslim use these good stages? So I said, let me, Ya Allah, I pray to Allah, let me at least do one conference with this good stage. Oh.